your 10 second initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't play out on them. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's. Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! 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 raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec I figured we'd give him a test drive. 
on the hardest difficulty. Nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. See if he's smart, stubborn, or both. TOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time. Holy shit! He went for it! He won't have much time before the backups kick in. gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. my threat so high.
Just gonna drop a little backdoor into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. I'm gonna go. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sack. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? 
Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk a shame on my first day. <laughs> <laughs>